Well, howdy from, look at this. That's Lake Havasu. Lake Havasu on the California-Arizona border. That's right. And uh, I made a stop here in Lake Havasu because I wanted to show you that, did you know, in this desert climate, that Lake Havasu is the city that's home to the most lighthouses in the United States. That's right. Here in the middle of the desert, Lake Havasu City has got more lighthouses than anywhere else in the United States. In fact, here's one right now. That's right. This is a working lighthouse. This is a, uh, actually it's a replica of the Vermilion Lighthouse in Ohio on the shore of Lake Erie. And so all of these uh, lighthouses all around Lake Havasu here are all replicas of lighthouses that are in the United States. So here's the eastern shore of uh, Lake Havasu and here's the western shore, the California side of Lake Havasu. And the interesting thing about all these lighthouses is not only are they uh, replicas, but they're actually working lighthouses. And also, I didn't know this, that all the lighthouses that are on the uh, western shore of Lake Havasu that represent uh, western lighthouses, they have a green light on them, just like the west coast lighthouses do in that are real, green light, and all the uh, lighthouses on the eastern shore that represent the east coast have a red light. And then I believe the, uh, the uh, Great Lake ones have a white light. So I thought I'd stop by and show you some of these things. If you might remember, uh, I think it was last year sometime, we did take a look at um, uh, Lake Havasu. I'll put a link down below of that video. Uh, but I thought that was just kind of, this was kind of an interesting thing that I didn't know about before these lighthouses. And on the west coast over there, some of the uh, lighthouses that are represented are um, up in Westport, uh, Washington. Uh, there's one over in um, uh, Humboldt, California. And I think think there's another one uh, that's also LA Harbor or San Pedro Harbor in Southern California and there's another one uh, around there somewhere we aren't going to be able to get to those but we'll see some of the ones that are right here on the peninsula in Lake Havasu and all of these peninsula ones uh, represent um, for the most part the Great Lakes so let's go take a look at those and here's another look at the Vermilion lighthouse in Ohio on the shores of Lake Erie. <laughs> All right, let's go take a look at the others. Okay, our next uh, um, lighthouse is a replica, a one-third size replica of the uh, one at Split Rock, uh, Minnesota on Lake Superior. Now this one, uh, the original one was built the original real lighthouse was built in 1919 and deactivated in 1969. However, it still stands to this day. And on uh, November 10th of each year, the actual Split Rock Lighthouse is lit uh, to honor the memory of the um, cargo vessel, the Edmund Fitzgerald. I don't know if any of you remember that song, the Edmund Fitzgerald, that uh, commemorates the, uh, the story of the sinking of the ship in 1975. It's a pretty interesting story. I read about it on the second, on my second walk across America. So if you ever get a chance to, uh, if you ever get a chance to read about it, look up the uh, SS Edmund Fitzgerald. It's actually an interesting story. It's, it's a fast read, um, but nonetheless, this lighthouse, the actual one in Minnesota, lights itself each year to uh, commemorate those that were lost. 
on that fateful night. Now you may be wondering that uh, why are all these uh, lighthouses uh, here around Lake Havasu? Well, there's actually a Lake Havasu Lighthouse Club. That's right. And they're the ones that uh, got together and uh, formed the idea of putting the lighthouses around uh, Lake Havasu. And if you think about how Lake Havasu was started as a real estate developer's dream to start this to start this town out in the middle of the desert when nothing was here, and also bringing over the uh, the actual London Bridge from uh, England. Well. These lighthouses are just another way, I suppose, to uh, help market Lake Havasu. And uh, look at that. To market Lake Havasu and uh, get people to come. So this is the uh, Split Rock Lighthouse. Now let's go take a look at the next one, which is over there. All right, here's our next one. This uh, replica uh, represents the uh, Point Gradio uh, Lighthouse in Dunkirk, New York on Pittsburgh Point on the shores of uh, Lake Erie. So um, Point Gradio, and yes, that's how you pronounce it, uh, Point Gradio Lighthouse was uh, originally built in 1827 and then it was rebuilt in 1875, and this is the one that represents that, the 1875 version of the Point Radio Lighthouse. But look at this, these lighthouses all have uh, some sort of a, a great view out over the water, just like the um, ones in real life. And uh, like I said before, these are all uh, operational. And they're not only operational just uh, to be decorative, 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 <laughs> but they are actually all used as uh, navigational aids for boaters here on the lake. So how about that? All right, let's go take a look at our next uh, one, two, maybe three or four more. All right, ready, set, go. All right, here's the next one. This is the Alpina uh, Lighthouse um, in Thunder Bay, Michigan. And um, the original was built in 1840. It was made out of wood. It eventually burned down. So the uh, existing one, the real existing one, was rebuilt in 1919 out of metal. And... Uh, <laughs> painted all red and it's commonly referred to as little red and sometimes it's also referred to and this came this came of age in the space age it's also referred to as little sputnik because of the resemblance it has to the shape of the um, original russian sputnik aircraft the uh, uh, spacecraft so the alpina michigan Lighthouse on Thunder Bay in Michigan. I got a trivia question for you. On which great lake is Thunder Bay located? Put those answers down there. Let me know. <laughs> and then we're going to go see our last great lake um, lighthouse. And it's going to be one from Wisconsin. So this is a replica of the uh, Wind Point lighthouse in uh, Wisconsin, Wind Point, Wisconsin, which I think is somewhere near Racine, Wisconsin, I think. Anyway, this one is uh, probably about a one-third size replica because the original is 108 feet tall, it was built in 1880, and is still standing to this day, and it's still lit to this day. And not only is this still lit to this very day, but if you ever get out that way, 
there's tours of it. So, uh, Wind Point, Wisconsin. So that's our tour of uh, the lighthouses, some of the lighthouses in um, Lake Havasu City. These have all been uh, lighthouses on the Great Lakes. Uh, let's go maybe look at one more. It's actually a lighthouse from uh, the east coast of the United States, I think in North Carolina. So let's go take a look at one last one before the sun goes down on us here in Lake Havasu, looking over on the California side. Okay, here's our last one. I told you it was going to be in North Carolina. I lied. <laughs> it's actually in New York. This one's on Long Island and is actually known as the uh, Fire Island Lighthouse. Stand 168 feet tall, so this one right here is probably, um, oh, maybe a one-eighth size, one-sixth size replica. And it was originally built in 1875, and this would have been the lighthouse that a lot of immigrants coming to the U.S. would have first seen when they got close to the mainland, because this is sitting right at the end of uh, Long Island in New York. But a pretty view out to the Atlantic. Oh, no, that's Lake Havasu. <laughs> but as we end this video with a nice sunset over Lake Havasu, I hope you like this quick tour of uh, some of the 28 lighthouses around Lake Havasu. And I'll put a, uh, well here, if you want to learn more about these uh, lighthouses, just go to um, gohavasu.com slash lighthouses, or is it golakehavasu.com slash lighthouses. Well, anyway, I'll put the link here. And um, take a look at the lighthouses and which ones of the ones that I did not show you would you have liked to have seen? And of the ones that we did see, which one did you like the best? So put those answers down there in the comments and maybe we can uh, swing by here again some other time to take a look at more of the lighthouses of Lake Havasu, Arizona, or California. <laughs> now, where are we off to next? Well, we're going to find whatever it is we're going to find, so stay tuned. I was going to stop over in that quartzite place uh, just to experience it for a couple days, just like I did last year. But I thought, ah, 